Welcome back everyone, Hardy Man here, back in Prison Architect. Let's get this thing going, three times speed, zoom in a little bit. So, last time, uh, we had a little bit of problems, uh, we, and we got this classroom all nice and, and filled in with chairs. It does look larger than this one, so that, that looks like the largest one that we have now, so. So now we have, like, three relatively large ones. Uh, and these two over here that are, you know, smaller, but that should be enough to, like, house all of our different programs at the same time, or relatively the same time. I mean, we could look at the programs. Yeah, looks like, looks like they're all happening at relatively the same time each day, so. Well, except for the taser program. That, that for some reason has to be done in the early morning, so. I guess that's to, I guess, uh, eliminate the, what is it, the whole getting, uh, your guards away from the people whenever they're trying to do stuff, I guess, and I guess whenever we have the, yeah, that's usually when they're free time and eating, so that's the safest time, I guess to have, I guess, one guy. I think that's that's what it was, right? One guy. Where's it? Yeah, one guy. One guy is totally going to uh, be learning how to get a taser. I mean, that could really be done anytime, but whatever. Uh, no, I don't want to sack my account. Okay, so what we got here? Um, we got... Huh. Our cash flow went back up. What's up with that? Oh, right, right. Because of our... Uh, we we opened up our export area. And apparently that gets $1,200. That's... That's a deal. I like that. Uh, and we haven't had an incident in just over a day. So that's also good. So hopefully we can get that back up and keep it going up so we can get a lot more money uh yeah but that's pretty good I don't, I don't think that's gonna be every day we're gonna have that many exports but that'll definitely help us for uh today or right, well i guess that was yesterday right because they they had been i think they had done that like a day or so a little bit over a day and that's how much they got out of it so that's not the you know standard that's going to be there but it's close enough and we have did we put a guard no we did not hmm i don't know if i want to put a guard over here or not because i mean we have guards in every one of these rooms now and we have a guard patrolling right there and we have another guard patrolling over here so this should be like the most secure area in like the entire prison. Should it be the most secure area in the entire prison? That's debatable. You would hope that, you know, the, the cell blocks are fairly secure, but eh, whatever. We, we, we really want uh, them to, to learn. So that's why, that's why we have guards in like almost all the classrooms in the workshop, patrolling the hallways of that building. Uh, that's just crazy. But anyway, so let's see. What else can we do? Uh, yeah, like everybody now, all of the, uh, all of the staff is now using the exports to get in and out of the, the prison. What is stuck on? This needs to not be stuck. Is it still that food waste? Someone needs to move this food waste. Uh, this is, that's going to be like a really bad thing. I can't do anything with it. Here, let me lock this open. Hopefully someone can get there and get that up. I don't even know, is it like, uh, can I like destroy it? Can I demolish it? No. Uh, there's nothing really I can do. Dismantle object? I think that's the door. I don't want to do that. 
I don't know. These guys apparently really want to shower, so we'll let them in there and shower. Uh, yeah, because I think the dismantled object is the door that is sitting right here normally, not the food waste that's right there. Uh, well, that sucks. I wonder, wonder how that even got there. I don't even know. Let's see here. We have someone else just bought a taser. Oh, so did he actually pass the class this time? Let's see, do we have programs, tasers? Where's that? Oh. 24 of 24 passed, I think. Yep. It only took them, like, you know, twice as many tries. That's cool. Uh, I wonder if we have to actually cut that off now. Uh, I think we should probably stop. I don't know if it, you know, continually goes and uh, as we go, even if we don't need it. So let's try to save some money and cut that program out. So, looks like everyone's going to eat. This guy's a little bit late to the party. Yep, he's he's taking the slow, slow route. He's like, there's there's totally going to be enough food for me whenever I get there, right? No, Dennis. Dennis, there could be lots and lots of empty plates. So you should probably hurry along. In fact, you should probably even run. But don't run towards the exit. Because that will get you shot. Well, tased. But you can you can run to, to the dining area. So we have a humongous area out here. Like, where does the yard even like, stop? It's like halfway. Hmm. So we could actually increase the size of this yard. Or we could put something here. I don't know what we could put there though. Cause I mean that's basically right now wasted space cause the yard like I said only goes halfway so I am not certain what we could do with that. Hmm. Got a lot of people there, they getting all their food that they need. They're just like littering aren't they? Or is it like vomit all over the floor? I'm uncertain. Oh, we got a... Oh, wait. Has he been upgraded? I think he might have been upgraded from the minimum security to medium. Is that what it is? Normal. Normal, right. Apparently, we have two of those guys, though. I don't see the other one. Uh, is he in his cell? If he is, I, I don't see him. Where's he at? I want to see... Oh. Yeah, so... They must have done some bad stuff. What was he doing? Uh... He's, just, he's not in any... Wait. Oh, he's in the alcoholics group therapy. But... He has a really low success chance of passing that class, I guess. Uh, oh, apparently he attacked staff and all that. Was this the guy who attacked staff uh, in the medical ward? Possibly. Uh, yeah, he's done some bad stuff. So that's probably why he, he was upgraded. Why were you upgraded? Uh, destruction. You attacked a prisoner. And you cause serious injury. Hmm. Well, you shouldn't do that. Get out all that. They're trying to get out. Uh, some more families are coming in here. Did someone like poop on the stool? What? What is? What is all this stuff? Golly, we need the janders to get to work. Oh, are are they even allowed in there? I don't even remember. Uh, deployment. Uh, yeah, they're allowed in visitation, so they can go clean that up. It's just all of this they're not allowed into. Or that. But everything else, 
clean, like clean your heart, clean to your heart's content. Uh, so everyone should be working now. It looks like our guards are. Is are they tired? Why are these people? Where are these go you guys going? That was that, Jeff. Jeff, what are you doing? You're working. Good job. Keep working. My um, psychologist is just walking around in here. He's teaching. Ah, okay. He's he's doing group therapy. Is that was that in the common room apparently? Hmm. Let's see. No. Where's that at? Oh, here it is. So it's just, what is it, Pratt? Yeah, that's his name. So he's the only one in alcoholics group ther uh, therapy. Hmm. Yep. So he apparently is a little bit late. Now the the thing can begin. I wonder if we need more chairs then. Uh. Let's put some more chairs down. If they're having group therapy in uh, in the common room, let's put some more chairs down for them. Let's see where's that? Where's that at? There it is. Okay, let's put some chairs. Uh, I don't even remember how large this is actually. Okay, so we can put a chair right here, right there, rotate it, right there, right there, right there, is that right, yep, that's all inside there, so that should be good, so I guess he, he's getting out of there now, did that help his percent chance at all, oh, clicked out the window, oh, it, it beefed it up just a little bit, what's his, his refinity chance is below 50% though. That's pretty good. Hopefully in the next half a year or whatever, he can uh he can get that down even further. Oh, and he passed our kitchen safety and hygiene course. So hopefully that works out for him as well. Oh wait. This is a different guy. I thought our guy was thinner yeah why did it show me that other guy that doesn't make any sense but anyway oh yeah this guy has a high percent of reoffending uh, oh he's gonna be in here for a very long time so we'll totally have a chance to get that down to something more manageable Holy crap, you're going to be in here for almost nine more years. And is there anything else? Oh, yeah, that's where it's all coming from. He's gotten so much stuff. Wow, okay. So apparently two of our guys have been upgraded to normal security prisoners. Uh, I guess that's not surprising with, I guess, those, like, riots and stuff that we had before, so. Hopefully we can, we can get them back down into, like, the minimum security population. Uh, have we figured out anyone with, like, a reputation? Do I have any informants? I have no informants. Apparently this guy has some on him, though. He need to be searched. What's he got? Anything on him? No, apparently he has nothing on him. Dang it. What is up with these people? Jeff's doing his laundry, so that's good. Good job, Jeff. No one's taking any classes, it looks like. I wish I could, like get these guards to only patrol like during the class time I think that would be pretty pretty awesome like set like a time parameter on like uh, 
guarding a specific location or patrolling a specific location. Because I could, I could really use these guys other places whenever the classes are not in session. Like this class is in session, he should be there, which he is, so that's good. But the other four guys, no one's in the other classrooms. So right now they're not, they're not really doing anything. They're just like patrolling an empty classroom. Also, uh, where is jobs? Whoa, now we have 10 people qualified. Uh, do we actually need 10 people, though? What is... Uh, we need 8. Is that right? Yeah, we can have 8 people. So let's put 8 people in here. Uh, two, there we go. So we have 8 people in there. Out of the 10 qualified, they'll be able to maximize that. Uh, that needs... To have those, we needed that carpeting program, right? Yeah, and no one wants that right now, so... If someone does want it, we can start it up and put them over there on that, so... But now everyone wants to eat. So that's what we're doing. Also, we, we can get rid of that. That's kind of annoying. Have that there. Also, these. Oh, like, every, everything's still there on that. There we go. There we go. Make it a little bit better. Oh, I hit Graydon. Dang it. Okay. So, let's see here. Oh, we have someone. Uh, Paul. Didn't we talk to him? What was his deal? Let's see. Uh, prisoners, Paul. Where is he at? He's going to be probably released by the end of this episode. That you? There we go. Oh, you meeting up with your lawyer? Did he get you a deal? No. Wow, he got six years for pickpocketing. Hmm. Did not know that that was uh, the amount of years you can get for that. That's crazy. But yeah, he's talking to his lawyer, so he's going to get out of here very, very soon. Punish. What, what can we punish him with? Oh. Don't want to do that. What's his uh, reoffending chance? Oh, 38%. Looks like we will not be seeing Paul Lutheran back up in here. Well, don't want to say never or anything like that, but 38% chance? I like those odds. Uh, and he was taking our foundation education program course. He had a, you know, so so amount of our chance of success but I mean I would really like to have you as a stat uh, well he's gonna be gone very very shortly uh, someone even say in zero hours so he'll he'll likely be getting out of here very soon and that's that's cool with me get get him out of here Go back to the world. Hopefully, it actually like releases him. I don't know where he's at. Is that him? Yeah. Hopefully, he's actually going to the exit. Maybe. It's auto saving. I think he's going to the exit. Yep. He's about gone. Just went right by that food waste. And there he goes, everyone. Paul Lutheran. He is a free man with a 38, or 33 now. That's, that's pretty good odds. Like those odds. But I think that'll be it for today. Uh, didn't really do much. Just looking around, making sure everything was good. No one was killing each other. That's, I guess that's, that's the episode, really. Uh, just trying to make sure that no one's trying to kill each other and, and just manage the prison. Um, we're, we're down to six, uh, dollars loss each day. Uh, so I guess, yeah, our days without incidents going up again, so that's good. Uh, I, I guess we sustained that import, or exports? Hmm. No, it says yesterday, so... 
Um, this possibly could be lower at the end of the day, so we could be l technically losing money. I don't, I don't know how that actually works. Uh, you'd think that they would be able to do it like live, update it live, but I guess, I guess they chose that way to do that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, leave those below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you might want to do that. Uh, since we are now down four prisoners who have, uh, been released and such, uh, we're probably going to go ahead and add this other cell block. What was this? Like 16? How much was it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, or 24, right. So that'd be 28. I'm assuming that we would have, you know, probably double digits coming in again since it's been a while since we brought anyone in. So getting getting this other cell block up and running will probably be the best option for us. So anyway, oh, and we can also just delete this since we, we found out that individual canteens and kitchens do not work out that well. So... Go and get rid of that, and that'll save us some money, and we can just work on that. But anyway, I'll stop blabbering. Hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.